Welcome great beer friends to Star News TV Beer Fro 1. As you come in, kindly like the program, share it to your family and friends, and also drop your comments. Today we shall be reminding our people of very pertinent information and as we do so, we are going to be bringing voice recordings of our great leader Mazi Namdi Okukano. This message will be going directly to the men on ground and also to uh, the Biafran people at large. It is not a directive to the men on ground. Mind you, we do not have direct access to the men on ground and we do not communicate direct to the men on ground. But this is a very credible information to direct and to inform them to become security, highly security conscious in their dealings with people around them, especially people who are not part of the movement. Let us listen to Mazi Nambikano. It's very, very important. There is a video in circulation, one idiot trained by the zoo police to claim he, he was part of ESN before. We must be very, very careful. I don't believe in mentioning names, but something came up. We had somebody before that put the lives of our people in danger. His name is Uche, Lionheart. Anywhere you see him, you should arrest him and hand him over to the nearest ESN command. He was a deep mole within our structures and is directly responsible for the deaths of very many gallant fighters within us. He, he was an informant for the zoo security agencies for some time now. Wherever you see him, arrest him and hand him over to the nearest ESN command. His name is Uche. He was formerly one of my bodyguards. They call him Lionheart. He moved from Obibo into Imo State. He is working for the zoo. He was the one that compromised our structures in Iguacha. The same thing he tried to do in Imo State. We are investigating if he had a hand in the death of Ikonso in terms of giving away his movement. His name is Uche. Lionheart, if you find him, you know what to do. He's a traitor. He is a traitor. We humbly plead with every man on ground to understand that at this point, trust only yourself. And the directive coming from the Prime Minister, Biafra Republic Government in exile, and the person of Mazi Simon Eba. Trust only yourself and the Prime Minister. Whatever you do not hear from the Prime Minister, do not regard. Let your movement be very secretive. Let your movements be very, very secretive. What Mazen Namdekanu was complaining about in this voice note has not stopped. It cannot stop. In every freedom fighting movement, there are saboteurs everywhere. And let me remind you that the Fulani people cannot defeat you without in-house saboteurs. They cannot defeat you. They are not born. They can't defeat you until they have saboteurs. I usually tell people, there's this village in Benue State. They call it Agatu. Agatu village in Benue State. They fought gallantly against the Fulani men. But then, they always discover that the Fulani will always take them on ways, you know, all their inf secret informations, their movements, the Fulani will know about it and ambush them until they discover that one of them was giving out information to the Fulanis. And they had to take out that person. And immediately they took out that person, they began to record victory against the Fulani people. You must understand, you must understand that so many persons just came into the struggle for one financial need or the other. And once money is presented to them, they begin to misbehave. They begin to misbehave. And as such, we are pleading with you all. Trust only yourself 
at this moment <laughs> it has become a very serious issue trust yourself and Michuko Kabiyama help you all we are praying with you we are praying for you and we are hoping on God that at the end we shall be victorious anybody who contacts him chicken America better because you are a dead animal walking he is evil he is evil Uche, his name is lion heart is evil he is working for the zoo he is working for the zoo he is an enemy because of him we have lost very many people he is the one that will tell the zoo police where to find our people he is the one you send him on an errand he will set the people up and the zoo police will come. that is what he does all the time he has come and gone be very very careful please and i want his pictures everywhere circulated everywhere so you know who you're dealing with he is evil and you know me i don't i don't hide anything if you are within our structures in esn and you work for the zoo i will come live on air i will expose you i will put your pictures everywhere those of them in america that were contacting him before do you see what you have done that is why that was why i said nobody from abroad should contact the men on the ground that was what i said now you can see the reason why now you can see the reason why he is evil very very evil and everybody who's ever dealt with him you are also a suspect right now because i can't trust you uche was a mole and a traitor within our midst and he's finished so from listening to what Mazen Amdekano has said, you will discover that everything he cried about, all the challenges he passed through then, is still very active today. We know that the PM Simon Emma has, you know, done tremendously well in trying to see that he reduces every form of, you know, sabotage to the barest minimum. But then again, we must not throw caution to the wind whoever has been excommunicated from IPOB autopilot you must as a matter of fact and urgency excommunicate yourself from such person let that if even if the person is your friend your very good friend excommunicate yourself from that person no vital information should go to such person no vital information should go to such person in fact, completely excommunicate yourself from such person as long as that person has been excommunicated from IPOP autopilot. You must excommunicate yourself immediately. 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 Do not claim you are strong or you are this and that and true caution to the wind this is very dangerous the times are dangerous and we need everybody intact we do not want a situation where somebody will be missing no we believe that this is war and caution must not be thrown to the wind caution must never be thrown to the wind the spirit of the ancestors, the spirit of the land, the gods of the land continually be with you all as you fight assiduously for the restoration of Biafra. We love you all, we are praying for you, and we believe we shall be victorious in the end. We all are doing our own best, the little we can in our own little ways to ensure that we achieve our freedom those of you fighting know that those people who are not fighting who are obeying the the, 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 the instructions are also doing their little to ensure that biafra comes those in the media are doing theirs 
those in diaspora are doing theirs those supporting financially are doing theirs so everybody is doing his or her own part and collectively we shall achieve our common goal so on this note i would like to bring the second aspect of this broadcast today and this second aspect will go to the peer from people to the peer from people we would listen to namde kanu now and open your mind to what is the truth and nothing but the truth do not be deceived by anybody in the name of dos or their irats open your minds today and receive the word and the preaching from a prophet of our time let us listen to mazin amdekan and we will analyze everything he has said black people in africa were against biafra for no discernible reason there is no justification for being against biafra we wanted to go back to who we were before the white man came that's all they said no they went to egypt and they brought pilots from egypt to pilot the mig bombers and fighter planes that nigeria was using no janjaweed could fly an airplane then none but in all of these things we built our own aircraft we built our own armored personnel carriers in Biafra land. We refined our own fuel. Something we did between 67 and 70, Nigeria cannot do today, even with the state of the art refineries everywhere. We refined our own fuel. The more we became ingenious, the more technologically advanced Biafra was able to prove to the whole world, the more they despised and hated us. I have said this thing many times live on air. Allow me to repeat. There's a man called Chief Justice P. Ken Woke, the blessed memory, a very good man. He was serving Ojuku during the war. I think he later on became uh, a justice of, this, of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Justice P. Ken Woke. Woke was sent to, 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 uh, to Bulgaria to go and seek for help. A communist country then. On getting to Bulgaria, he was discussing with the Bulgarian government officials about how to support and help. Because the people that brought us the Bible, Britain, that gave us Anglican Church, which incidentally, I was, should I say, baptized into, wrongly I would say. And uh, Britain, Britain gave us Bible, gave us uh, the story of Jesus, <laughs> and uh, Mary, and the uh, Trinity, and the Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Everything, even dress up us, dress us up like um, or, or, occultic leaders. Because when you see a pastor in a church, he looks like an occultic, he looks like a foreign deviant. But they were supporting Muslims from the north to come and kill us. P.K. Mokedi went to, went to Bulgaria to go and ask for help. On getting to Sofia in, in Bulgaria, his aircraft landed, they took him to his hotel. In the, the next day, they scheduled a meeting with the government officials. They took him to a government building, not the official government building, but to a building, and uh, asked him why he came. He told them how Biafran people are suffering, how we are dying, how we are being starved to death, and all the rest of it. And at the end of his narration, he finished narrating his story. Um, they said to him, we sympathize with you. This is Bulgaria, I'm telling you. We sympathize with you. Um, but the thing is that um, we don't want another Japan. The world is struggling with one Japan. We don't want another one to come up. Professor, I said, uh, Chief Justice P.K. Wokedi told me this himself. In a place called Enfield in England, when he came very many years ago, before his passing, he told me face to face, not recycled information. Now, after listening to this narration by Mazin Amdekan, this presentation by Mazin Amdekan, why do you still believe in those people who call themselves DOS? Why do you still believe in their, in, 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 in their stupidity that they can get Biafra from waiting for the international community to help them get it? 
you have heard how these people despise you you have heard how these people do not want you to amount to something great why do you think that if you do not fight to liberate yourself by yourself that these people are going to come in to help you people who are milking your country dry people who are living on the wealth of your country you believe that they are going to you know jettison all that they are getting from from you and grant you freedom you think you honestly think so you honestly think so why do you think that the people the political leaders from the Piafra region can never support Piafra why do you think so because they are already eating fat from the wealth of Piafra and so they believe if you are going to develop a new country if you are going to institute new government and new rules and new system that you are going to take them away from the source of wealth they believe you want to remove their mouths from the breast of the wealth of nigeria where they suckle from and as such they will never support you not to think of people who are not really your people people who are outsiders people who are foreigners you are waiting on them to grant you freedom i tell you most solemnly if you continue in that path for the next 100 200 years to come you will never smell anything like freedom you must stand up this day join the prime minister amaze simon eba and fight assiduously for your freedom you must fight for your freedom look around you look around you mazinam de kanu once said i am a student of contemporary history and no place nowhere have i come across where you get your freedom by peaceful means where did this do as gets the information that you would get your freedom through peaceful means you must fight you must delegitimize the oppressing government you must do something against them and at the end after the whole fight it will now come to a round table and discussion will now settle everything but if you keep quiet you will wait for the next 200 years and nothing will be achieved nothing will be achieved let's listen to mazinam de kanu again <laughs> chief justice he was speaking okay and he looked at them he said but he said the bulgaria told him more <laughs> And the world is having to cope with the technological advances of Japan. <laughs> We don't want a black uh, a country to come out and be like Japan. No, we don't want it. BK Woke the left after four days. It dawned on me that the conspiracy against Biafra is global. It doesn't matter how many petitions you write, how many letters you write, it doesn't matter how many of us they kill. the world would not respond they would not listen i also told you people a very important story i went to go and see the united nations officers in geneva i walked into the meeting the meeting room edozium was there our sister nena was there kanonta my brother was there and a few other people and i believe rozoka was there as well We went into this meeting. Ask all these people. We went into this meeting with the United Nations in Geneva. The room they lined up. The various departments. They were all there. They asked me to present my case. I presented a very compelling case for Biafra. One of them said to me. He said to all of us, not to me. He didn't say it in 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 in, in secret. He said to me. Uh, Why is it that any time in New York, this was UN offices in Geneva that we went to, he said to me, "Why is it any time Biafra is mentioned in any meeting at UN headquarters in New York, 
everybody will get up and leave the room. I asked him, what did he say? In front of every, ask anybody who was with me in Geneva what I'm saying. We were at the UN office. Thank you, my dear brother. He said, he said lockdown is the senior brother of sit at home. That what we are experiencing right now in Piafra land is lockdown. Lockdown, not sit at home. Complete and utter. If you see cockroach, you stamp on it. No living organism should move from one place to another. At the UN, they said to us, in, up in broad daylight, I think maybe around 3 30 in the evening, in Korokoro, in broad daylight. Anytime we discuss Biafra, what they are doing to you people at the UN office in New York, everybody will get up and walk away. Now, this has always been the problem, and we pray that our people will open their eyes and see the realities and join Simon Eba to liberate themselves from the shackles of slavery and subjugation. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for coming by. Kindly share this broadcast to get to everyone and support our channel the best way you can. You